Have you ever wondered why women are so contradictory? Why do bad boys get all the girls? Why is it that the more you try to get a woman's attention, the less interested she is? It's time to delve into the world of female psychology and discover the six facts about women that you should know. These facts, which range from why bad boys stay bad forever to why time and effort equals attraction, will help you better understand what women want. So, let's get started and look at the six points about women that will change your perspective on them. The first point delves into the intriguing realm of the contradictions that define women. Unraveling the intricacies of female psychology reveals a fascinating science behind what captivates their interest. One particular facet stands out. The study of contradictions, a concept that paradoxically contradicts itself. This notion suggests that everyone grapples with the same inherent paradox, yet it often goes unnoticed in the tapestry of human interactions. Surprisingly, the biggest contradiction about girls has been concealed in plain sight throughout our lives. As we navigate the journey from adolescence to adulthood, we are instilled with the notion of kindness as a virtue, a quality that should lead us to the fulfillment of our romantic dreams. However, the harsh reality, as many can attest from their own experiences, is that this path is not always straightforward. Consider the paradox mirrored in nature itself. Some of the most visually appealing elements, such as certain flowers or animals, also carry an inherent danger. The juxtaposition between beauty and peril prompts a profound question. Why are these naturally enticing things accompanied by an element of risk? It's a conundrum that, upon closer inspection, mirrors a universal trait shared by women worldwide. In essence, the first fact sets the stage for a deeper exploration of the contradictions that permeate the female psyche, inviting us to question preconceived notions and delve into the nuanced layers of understanding what truly captivates and intrigues women. Number 2. Bad Boys Stay Bad Forever Reflecting on the dynamics of high school, consider those genuinely nice guys who often hung out with girls as friends or the ones consistently chased after by girls. These were the individuals with seemingly carefree lives, appearing to have nothing to worry about. Delving into their nature, it becomes apparent that most, if not all of them, shared a common trait. They used to be the quintessential bad boys. Picture tattoos, bikes, engaging in brawls and garnering the attention of intrigued girls. However, there's a fascinating paradox that unites these bad boys, their unwavering commitment to self-care and the well-being of their male friends. Surprisingly, the more these guys focused on themselves, whether through cultivating personal hobbies or engaging in sports, the more the opposite sex pursued them. This presents a remarkable irony in the narrative of attraction, challenging conventional expectations and shedding light on the intriguing complexity of human relationships. Now let's delve into number three. Time times effort equals attraction. In the realm of beauty, a woman tends to appreciate a man more when he invests time and effort in her. Logically, one might assume that dedicating a substantial portion, say 90% of one's time to making her happy, would elicit a reciprocal outpouring of love and satisfaction. However, reality takes a different turn. The paradox of attraction unveils itself. The more strenuously one endeavors to win her favor, the more elusive it becomes. Unbeknownst to many, women are instinctively inclined to gravitate towards those who exhibit minimal interest, sidelining those who put in maximal effort to understand and connect with them. In simpler terms, the more you ardently pursue her, the quicker she retreats. This phenomenon extends beyond mere romantic pursuits. It encompasses the broader spectrum of life, where excessive attention can lead to unintended consequences. Consider men who make a particular woman the focal point of their lives, hoping to establish a deep connection. Unfortunately, this often results in them becoming overly clingy and needy, traits that repel rather than attract. This tendency is not confined to individuals consciously attempting to win a woman's affection. Even genuinely nice guys, despite expending comparatively less effort, find themselves inadvertently displaying similar behaviors, ultimately hindering their success in the realm of romance. In essence, understanding the intricacies of attraction involves navigating a delicate balance between demonstrating genuine interest and avoiding the pitfalls of excessive pursuit. The more men can strike this equilibrium, focusing on self-improvement and personal goals, the more likely they are to find themselves in a position where women actively seek to be part of their journey. 
Success in attracting women is intertwined with success in various facets of life, reinforcing the notion that personal growth and pursuit of individual goals are key components of genuine, lasting attraction. Number four, they want what they can't get. The enigma of attraction deepens as we explore the intriguing desire of women for the elusive bad boys jerks and alpha men. It's a phenomenon that often perplexes men, prompting them to question why these seemingly unconventional individuals garner such attention. The key lies in understanding that women are naturally drawn to things that are challenging to obtain. This desire is not exclusive to women. Men too experience a similar quest, albeit driven by different motives. To draw a vivid analogy, envision a fishing game played by a thousand girls sitting by a tranquil lake, each armed with a fishing stick. As they cast their lines into the water, the collective aim is to reel in a coveted catch. In this aquatic pursuit, the nice guys and emotionally vulnerable men find themselves akin to bottom feeders, incessantly tugging at the line. The girls, in turn, must master the art of reeling them in, liberating them, and then preparing to cast their lines once more. Even with an abundance of ordinary options, the girls opt for the challenge of securing the best fish, emphasizing a nuanced preference for a good catch. Defining a good catch reveals itself as a subjective concept, varying across individuals. For a strong-willed girl, a submissive and compliant partner might be deemed a good catch, fulfilling her desire for control. On the other hand, a highly feminine woman could find herself magnetically attracted to a beautiful alpha male who exerts physical dominance and governs every aspect of her life. This diversity in preferences underscores the complexity of individual desires and the multifaceted nature of attraction. Number 5. Goals, not girls. So how do you win every girl's heart and make yourself more appealing to most girls without pursuing them and succumbing to the paradox? The secret is to stop chasing girls and instead pursue goals. In a strange way, the more you work on yourself and spend less time chasing girls, the more they will pursue you. Give yourself time to grow and become interested. Almost all of the most successful men in sports have an endless stream of girls chasing after them. It doesn't matter what you do as long as you always work to improve that skill. You already know that a man's level of confidence is directly linked to how well he does in life, and that confidence is what makes all men romantically desirable. Set goals for yourself or for things like sports or a job and work every day to reach them. When you work towards your goals, you become a better, more attractive guy, even if it doesn't look like it. Plan your day in advance, have self-discipline, and focus on goals like working out four times a week or growing your salary or business income by a certain percentage every year. You also try to buy a certain car or property by a certain date. People can tell when you have all of that going on, and they can see that you're really trying to make your life better. You want to make more money? Give yourself more time to enjoy life and make sure you can live the rest of your life comfortably, happily, and successfully. You can go places, eat good food, and have a good time. When women see that, they want to be on your journey with you. There is no good reason. Number six, the way you think is crucial. Understanding the power of thought, especially when aligned with goals, reveals a transformative journey. Believing in and pursuing a goal from the core of your being reshapes your mindset and invites the forces around you to synchronize and support. However, applying this principle to attract women proves futile. No woman genuinely connects until you accomplish something significant in the broader context of the world. To illustrate, consider pursuing a career goal such as establishing a successful business. Thoughts, attitudes, and actions harmonize with the objective, turning challenges into opportunities and setbacks into stepping stones. This transformed way of thinking propels you forward, fostering resilience and adaptability. In contrast, misapplying this transformative approach to relationships disappoints. Attempting to engineer thoughts solely for attraction negates genuine connection. Women seek authenticity, shared values, and individual accomplishments, not contrived images. Fact 6 serves as a poignant reminder. While thought power achieves personal goals, using it as a shortcut to romantic success is a fallacy. Authentic connections stem from shared values, mutual respect, and individual accomplishments. Invest energy in endeavors contributing positively to the world, attracting the right attention, and building a life resonant with authenticity and lasting fulfillment. Men are typically appreciated for what they bring to the table and their ability to contribute to a relationship or the world. 
Therefore, it's essential to prioritize setting and working towards personal goals, dreams, and ambitions before seeking a romantic connection. The attraction paradox implies that the level of love and care a woman provides is directly proportional to the time, energy, resources, and attention invested in her. In other words, excessive pursuit may lead a woman to seek attention elsewhere, while avoiding her may prompt her to intensify efforts to capture your interest. This dynamic is a recurring pattern observed in various stages of life, from high school and college to university and the workplace. It underscores the tendency for women to desire what appears elusive, akin to how children react when denied a particular treat exhibiting determination, attempting to obtain it through various means, and sometimes disregarding a superior alternative simply because it seems more accessible. Feel free to like and subscribe for more content. Ever felt like a puppet in someone else's hands? It's time to cut those strings and reclaim your autonomy. In a world where manipulation is an art form, adopting a stoic mindset can be your shield. Here are nine powerful ways to navigate the intricate web of influence and emerge unscathed. 1. Know thyself. Understanding oneself is the cornerstone of resilience against manipulation. It requires a profound exploration of our beliefs, fears, and desires. This self-exploration is not a one-time task, but an ongoing journey towards heightened self-awareness. Begin by reflecting on your core beliefs. What values guide your decisions and actions? Delve into the roots of these beliefs, examining whether they are genuine reflections of your authentic self or if they've been influenced by external factors. Identifying and understanding these beliefs will give you a solid foundation to stand upon when faced with attempts at manipulation. Next, confront your fears. Manipulators often exploit insecurities and anxieties, using them as leverage to sway opinions or actions. By acknowledging and facing your fears, you disarm manipulators of this potential weapon. Understand the origin of your fears and work towards overcoming or mitigating them. The more you conquer your fears, the less susceptible you become to external influences. Explore your desires with a critical eye. What motivates your decisions and aspirations? By understanding the true nature of your desires, you gain insight into your own vulnerabilities. This awareness becomes a shield, preventing manipulators from exploiting your ambitions for their benefit. The journey of self-discovery is dynamic. Regularly reassess your beliefs, fears, and desires as you evolve. Embrace personal growth and be open to adapting your self-awareness to the changing landscape of your life. This continuous self-exploration builds a robust defense mechanism, making it increasingly difficult for external influences to penetrate your inner sanctum. In essence, knowing oneself is not a static state, but a continuous process of introspection and self-awareness. The more intimately you understand your own intricacies, the more resilient you become against manipulation. It's an investment in your mental fortitude and a powerful step towards living authentically. 2. Embrace impartiality. Stoicism, with its roots in ancient philosophy, advocates for the cultivation of rationality and objectivity in the face of life's challenges. Embracing impartiality becomes a potent weapon against manipulation, allowing you to detach emotions and assess situations with clarity and reason. When confronted with manipulation, the initial response is often emotional. Manipulators may use tactics designed to elicit specific emotional reactions, clouding judgment and hindering rational decision-making. Stoicism teaches us to rise above these emotional currents, fostering a mindset that prioritizes logical analysis over impulsive reactions. Imposing emotional distance doesn't mean suppressing emotions, but rather acknowledging and understanding them without being swayed by their immediate impact. This detachment enables you to view situations from a higher vantage point, making it harder for manipulators to exploit emotional vulnerabilities. Approach each situation with a clear-headed perspective. Analyze the facts objectively, devoid of emotional biases. This impartial assessment serves as a formidable defense, as manipulators often rely on emotional manipulation to achieve their objectives. Cultivating impartiality involves developing a mental discipline that allows you to pause and reflect before responding to external stimuli. It's about creating a buffer between the stimulus and your response, providing the space needed to assess the situation with rationality. Stoicism emphasizes the idea that external events are beyond our control, but our reactions are within our control.
By embracing impartiality, you reclaim agency over your responses. You become a master of your emotions rather than a slave to them, making it challenging for manipulators to manipulate your emotional state for their advantage. In conclusion, embracing impartiality is a journey towards mastery over emotions and a commitment to rationality. It positions you as an individual who navigates life's complexities with a clear and unbiased mind, building an impenetrable defense against manipulation. 3. Question Everything in a world saturated with information, the ability to discern truth from manipulation is crucial. Manipulators thrive when their audience accepts information without scrutiny. To fortify yourself against such tactics, cultivate a habit of questioning everything, from the information presented to the intentions and motives behind it. Start by scrutinizing the information you encounter. Whether it's news, opinions, or advice, don't accept it at face value. Investigate the sources, evaluate their credibility, and cross-reference with other reputable sources. By demanding clarity and evidence, you create a barrier against subtle attempts to sway your thoughts. Question the intentions behind the information. Consider the motives of those conveying the message. Are they seeking to inform, manipulate, or achieve a particular outcome? Understanding the underlying motives helps you decipher the agenda behind the information, making it harder for manipulators to exploit your trust. Interrogate the methods used to convey the message. Is the information presented objectively, or is it laden with emotional appeals? Manipulators often leverage emotional manipulation to cloud rational judgment. By scrutinizing the methods employed, you become adept at identifying attempts to sway your emotions and, consequently, your thoughts. Developing a habit of questioning everything is not about fostering skepticism for its own sake, but about fostering a healthy dose of critical thinking. It's about being an active participant in the information exchange, engaging your intellect to discern fact from fiction. This mental vigilance becomes a shield, protecting you from the insidious influences of manipulation. 4. Master the art of saying no politeness, while a virtue can inadvertently open the door to manipulation. Manipulators often exploit a person's reluctance to say no, using it as a gateway to influence and control. To counter this, cultivate the strength to say no without guilt or hesitation. A firm and respectful refusal is a powerful tool in establishing boundaries. It communicates that you are in control of your decisions and unwilling to be swayed against your will. The art of saying no lies not just in the word itself, but in the manner in which it's delivered, assertive yet respectful. Recognize that your time, energy, and resources are valuable. Saying no is an act of self-preservation, guarding against overcommitment and preventing the erosion of your well-being. Manipulators often prey on individuals who struggle to decline requests as they see an opportunity to exploit the willingness to cooperate. When faced with a request, take a moment to assess its alignment with your priorities and values. If it contradicts them or places undue burden on you, have the courage to decline. Remember that saying no is not a rejection of the person making the request, but a defense of your boundaries. Mastering the art of saying no is liberating. It empowers you to navigate life on your terms, ensuring that your decisions are guided by authenticity rather than external pressures. By establishing clear boundaries through respectful refusals, you create a formidable defense against manipulation, signaling to others that your autonomy is non-negotiable. 5. Learn to detect subtle cues. Manipulation is an art of subtlety, often operating in the shadows of communication. To fortify yourself against these covert tactics, it is crucial to train your instincts to pick up on subtle cues, the nonverbal signals that betray the true intentions behind words. Body language, tone, and choice of words are the canvas upon which manipulation paints its nuances. Begin by honing your observation skills. Pay close attention to the body language of those around you. Are there inconsistencies between what is said and how it is expressed physically? A misalignment between verbal and nonverbal cues can be a red flag for potential manipulation. Tune in to the tone of communication. Manipulators may use tone to convey messages that go beyond the literal meaning of words. A seemingly innocuous statement can take on a different connotation based on the tone employed. By being attuned to these variations, you can decipher the emotional undertones and identify attempts at manipulation. Consider the choice of words carefully. 
Manipulators often select their vocabulary with precision to evoke specific emotions or reactions. Subtle changes in wording can alter the entire context of a message. By analyzing the choice of words, you become adept at deciphering hidden agendas and recognizing when someone is attempting to subtly manipulate your perceptions. Learning to detect subtle cues is an ongoing process. Practice and experience refine your instincts over time. Trust your intuition when it sends signals of discomfort or suspicion. The more attuned you become to these subtle cues, the better equipped you'll be to thwart manipulation in its infancy, preserving your autonomy and decision-making integrity. 6. Value Time Over Emotions Manipulation often takes advantage of our emotional vulnerabilities, clouding our judgment and influencing decisions. In the face of emotional manipulation, prioritizing time over immediate emotional reactions becomes a powerful defense strategy. This approach allows you to step back, gain perspective, and respond with logic and rationality. When confronted with emotionally charged situations, resist the urge to react impulsively. Emotions, while essential, can sometimes lead us astray if not tempered by reason. By consciously choosing to value time over immediate emotional responses, you create a shield against manipulation that thrives on impulsive reactions. Take a moment to assess the situation objectively. Distance yourself from the emotional currents and analyze the facts at hand. Ask yourself, what are the underlying motivations at play? Is there a deliberate attempt to sway my emotions for a particular agenda? By introducing a temporal buffer, you grant yourself the mental space needed to see through emotional manipulation, prioritize logic and rationality in decision-making. Emotions are transient, and decisions made in the heat of the moment may not align with your long-term goals and values. By giving yourself the time to weigh the pros and cons objectively, you safeguard against decisions that could be influenced by manipulative tactics. Cultivate the habit of delayed response, especially in emotionally charged situations. This does not imply neglecting or suppressing emotions, but rather acknowledging them and choosing the most opportune moment to address them. By valuing time over emotions, you not only fortify your defenses against manipulation, but also ensure that your responses are measured, thoughtful, and aligned with your authentic self. 7. Build Strong Boundaries Stoicism, with its roots in ancient philosophy, places a profound emphasis on personal boundaries. Building strong boundaries is a fundamental aspect of safeguarding oneself against manipulation. It involves a deliberate process of clearly defining what is acceptable and unacceptable in your interactions with others. Start by introspectively examining your values, priorities, and limits. What are the principles that guide your life? Once identified, Translate these principles into tangible boundaries that establish the parameters of your comfort and well-being. Clearly communicate these boundaries to those around you, asserting your right to personal space and autonomy. Building strong boundaries requires assertiveness. It is not about creating walls to shut people out, but about defining the conditions under which you are willing to engage and collaborate. By communicating your boundaries confidently, you create an unyielding fortress against those who might seek to exploit your vulnerabilities. Recognize that boundaries are dynamic and can evolve over time. Regularly reassess and refine them as you grow and encounter new experiences. This adaptive approach ensures that your boundaries remain aligned with your evolving self, providing an ever-effective defense against manipulation. 8. Cultivate Resilience Stoic resilience, a cornerstone of enduring strength, stands as a potent defense against manipulation, embracing challenges and setbacks not as insurmountable obstacles but as opportunities for personal growth is a key tenet of this resilience. When faced with manipulation, resilient individuals view it not as a defeat but as a chance to fortify their mental and emotional fortitude. Cultivating resilience involves embracing adversity with a mindset that reframes difficulties as stepping stones toward personal development. To build resilience, adopt a proactive approach to challenges. Rather than viewing setbacks as impediments, consider them as platforms for learning and self-improvement. Each encounter with manipulation becomes an opportunity to refine your understanding of yourself and strengthen your resolve. Resilience also involves maintaining a positive perspective. Acknowledge that external attempts at manipulation are not a reflection of your shortcomings, but rather a tactic employed by others. 
By separating your sense of self-worth from external influences, you insulate yourself against the emotional impact of manipulation. In the face of manipulation, a resilient individual remains steadfast in their principles and values. By developing this unwavering commitment to authenticity, external attempts to manipulate your beliefs or actions lose their potency. Stoic resilience, therefore, becomes a shield that not only guards against manipulation, but propels you forward on the path of continuous self-improvement. 9. Invest in Continued Learning Knowledge is a formidable defense against manipulation. In the ever-evolving landscape of psychological tactics and manipulation techniques, staying informed is crucial. By investing in continued learning, you equip yourself with the tools to recognize and counteract the strategies used against you. Stay abreast of psychological principles and behavioral patterns that manipulators often exploit. Understand the intricacies of persuasion, emotional manipulation, and the psychology of influence. By delving into these subjects, you develop a keen awareness of the tactics employed by manipulators, attend workshops, read books, and engage in discussions that deepen your understanding of human behavior. Learning from experts in psychology and communication enables you to identify subtle cues and navigate complex social dynamics. The more you comprehend the strategies used against you, the better prepared you become to safeguard your autonomy. Continued learning is not just about theoretical knowledge, but also practical application. Regularly reflect on your experiences, applying the insights gained from your studies to real-life situations. This active integration of knowledge enhances your ability to discern manipulation and empowers you to respond effectively. In conclusion, investing in continued learning is an ongoing commitment to your mental fortitude. It positions you as an informed and vigilant individual, capable of navigating the intricate web of manipulation with resilience and discernment. Knowledge becomes your ally, transforming you into a formidable defender of your autonomy and authenticity. In a world where manipulation is an ever-present force, the stoic individual stands as an unyielding fortress. By mastering these nine principles, you not only protect yourself from manipulation, but also empower yourself to live authentically and with unwavering strength. Remember, the power to resist manipulation lies within. Grasp it and reclaim control of your narrative. All women crave masculine men. Masculine men exude energy that women find irresistible. If women ignore you or see you as just another average Joe on the street, this video is for you. In this video, I'll discuss seven masculine qualities that women admire in men. Understand this, if you can embody these qualities, you will not only be desired by women, but you will also outperform the competition in all areas of life. If you don't want to miss any videos in the future, feel free to follow my channel. Number one, purpose. A man without a purpose in life is akin to a ship without a compass, adrift and devoid of direction. Embracing the wisdom of the ages, we find a timeless saying that resonates deeply. Chase purpose, and she will chase you. The veracity of this statement is profound. When one ardently pursues purpose, life transforms into a symphony of significance. The pursuit of goals and aspirations signifies a clear vision, a roadmap of objectives one strives to attain. In the realm of romantic connections, purpose becomes a beacon that attracts the attention of women. It is a testament to a man's character, reflecting his drive, ambition, and a resolute sense of direction in life. Masculine men with purpose coursing through their veins captivate the interest of women who seek a partner with vision and determination. Conversely, a life lived in insignificance renders one invisible to the discerning eyes of women. They desire companionship with men capable of promising them a future filled with promise and prosperity. Whether one chooses to accept or deny it, the truth remains unyielding. Women measure a man's value and worth based on the purpose that propels him forward. It is a clarion call for men to cultivate a sense of value in their lives, for in doing so, they evade the shadows of obscurity and stand in the light of purposeful existence. Number 2. Strength Within the tapestry of masculinity, strength weaves itself as an indomitable thread, celebrated and cherished by women. This strength manifests in various forms, physical, mental, and the pinnacle, strength in intimacy. A man's ability to exhibit physical strength instills a sense of safety and protection in the hearts of women. 
Conversely, mental strength marks a man as someone who can navigate life's tumultuous waters with resilience and resolve. Yet there exists a third facet, the strength one wields in the realm of intimacy. This, the highest form of strength, grants a man the power to take charge in the most vulnerable and intimate moments. It fosters a subconscious surrender from the woman, an acknowledgement of the potency of the connection. To possess these strengths, one must embark on a transformative journey, shedding the shackles of physical and mental weakness. Refraining from an exhaustive scrutiny of detrimental habits and negative influences, the call to reflection echoes loudly. Success with women is intricately linked to the deliberate and conscious choice to strengthen one's physical and mental fortitude. Thus, the path to becoming a man of strength begins not only with external changes, but with internal transformation, a recalibration of the mind and body. As we delve into the complexities of masculinity, purpose and strength emerge as foundational pillars, each contributing to the narrative of a man's worth and desirability. The journey of self-improvement beckons, urging men to carve out purpose and fortify their strength, not merely for romantic pursuits, but as a testament to a life well lived. Number three, responsibility. Responsibility stands as the linchpin of maturity, a quality that is indispensable in the tapestry of masculinity. Before delving into the nuances of maturity, it is imperative to comprehend the path to becoming the responsible man that women yearn for. It is a fundamental truth. Men who shoulder responsibility in every facet of life emerge as not only attractive, but also garner deep respect from women. The act of taking responsibility signifies a man's capacity to make sound decisions independently, showcasing his ability to care for himself and those within his sphere. Beyond the realm of personal responsibility, exhibiting responsible behavior demonstrates a robust sense of duty towards commitments and relationships. For women, there is an inherent value placed on responsibility and unwavering commitment, making it a cornerstone in building meaningful connections. Maturity, the natural offspring of responsibility, blooms when a man consciously lives a life characterized by responsibility, both for himself and the ones he loves. The journey toward maturity is a deliberate choice to navigate life's challenges with a sense of duty and accountability, transcending the realm of mere actions to embody a way of being. Number 4. Strong Presence In the intricate dance of attraction, a strong presence emerges as a magnetic force that captivates the attention of women. This quality, marked by confidence and an aura of authority and leadership, holds a prominent place in the realm of masculinity. Women are naturally drawn to men who possess a commanding presence, defying the norms of average existence. The ability to command attention through a confident personality elevates a man beyond the commonplace. Women, seeking a sense of security and protection, are inherently attracted to authoritative figures with leadership qualities. The key to cultivating a strong presence lies in the cultivation of self-confidence. To emanate a strong presence, one must first build a foundation of self-assurance. Stepping into a room with a calm and assertive demeanor signals a comfort within one's own skin, an attribute that doesn't go unnoticed. A strong presence transcends mere physicality. It is a manifestation of confidence, authority, and power. Women attuned to these masculine qualities find themselves irresistibly drawn to individuals who exude strength in both demeanor and character. Understanding that a strong presence is more than a superficial display, it becomes a vehicle through which confidence, authority, and power become palpable. It is in the moment of proximity that women feel a profound sense of safety and protection, making a strong presence an indispensable facet of the masculine allure. Number 5. Honesty. In the intricate dance of human connection, honesty emerges as the bedrock upon which enduring relationships are built. Winning a woman's heart requires an unwavering commitment to truthfulness. Honesty, a beacon that shines brightly among your myriad personality traits, goes beyond being a virtue. It becomes the very fabric that weaves a bond of trust and integrity. When you choose the path of honesty in your interactions with women, you are not merely revealing your thoughts, you are establishing a foundation of authenticity that resonates on a profound level. This honesty becomes the catalyst for forging relationships that stand the test of time. The resulting trust and integrity extend beyond the realm of dating, seeping into other facets of life, bringing about positive outcomes and fostering a sense of reliability. 
It's essential to recognize the transformative power of honesty. When you open up and reveal your true self, a woman reciprocates by entrusting you with her deepest thoughts and feelings. This exchange of vulnerability forms the crucible in which love and connection are forged. Know this, your honesty becomes the conduit through which she not only trusts you with her innermost self, but also showers you with a love that envelops her entire existence, much like a refreshing rain shower. Number six, maturity. Embarking on the journey of maturity is a profound exploration into the depths of one's character, marked by responsibility and emotional resilience. Responsibility, as a precursor to maturity, signifies a man's ability to take charge of life's intricacies and challenges. Women, perceptive and appreciative, are profoundly drawn to men who exude maturity. Maturity, encompassing emotional strength, grace under pressure, and accountability for one's actions, is a multifaceted gem that sparkles in the eyes of discerning women. A mature man navigates challenging situations with an unwavering composure that belies his emotional fortitude. The importance of shouldering responsibility and being accountable for mistakes underscores a mature individual's capacity to make sound decisions using a rational mind. In the face of adversity, a mature man doesn't succumb to the tempest of emotions like a boy. Instead, he faces challenges head-on with a seasoned and composed demeanor. Communication skills, a hallmark of maturity, empower him to connect effectively, providing emotional support and guidance when needed. Understanding that women may seek solace and support during moments of vulnerability, a mature man becomes a steadfast pillar upon which she can lean. It's crucial to acknowledge that women, though resilient, may at times find comfort in the support and guidance of their partners. Providing this sanctuary of emotional support not only garners respect, but also invites a torrent of love from her heart. In embracing maturity, a man transforms into a beacon of strength and stability, offering a haven of understanding and support that women instinctively gravitate towards. Number 7. Confidence Confidence stands as an unparalleled pillar in the grand edifice of masculinity, a beacon that illuminates the path to one's highest potential. To navigate the labyrinth of life as a truly masculine man, confidence is not merely an asset, it is the lifeblood that courses through every endeavor. In a world where the concept of masculinity may face tarnishing from various quarters, the unwavering confidence of masculine men emerges as the guardian that keeps the flame of masculinity alive. Why does confidence wield such transformative power? It is rooted in the unshakable belief that masculine men have in themselves and their convictions. This self-assuredness becomes magnetic, drawing the admiration and affection of women who are naturally drawn to men confident in their identity and beliefs. Amidst societal narratives that might attempt to redefine or undermine masculinity, the resilience and confidence of true masculine individuals serve as a testament to the enduring nature of this cultural archetype. In the face of external pressures and societal expectations, the call remains steadfast, always be confident in yourself. This confidence, far from being a mere personal attribute, transcends into the interpersonal realm, creating a profound connection with the women in your life. A confident man becomes a magnetic force, attracting women not through boastful displays, but through the authenticity of self-expression. When confidence permeates your being, women are not only drawn to you, they crave your presence. The fearlessness to take risks, the courage to speak your mind, and the unwavering commitment to stand up for your beliefs become alluring qualities that leave an indelible mark. In the intricate dance of attraction, confidence becomes a contagious force that captivates and inspires. As you embrace and exude confidence, you become a living testament to the resilience and strength inherent in masculinity. In the face of societal nuances and evolving perceptions, your confidence becomes a beacon that not only attracts women, but also reaffirms the enduring essence of true masculinity. Embrace confidence, for in its glow, you not only stand tall as a beacon of strength, but also become a magnet for the admiration and affection of those around you. Take the insights gained today and apply them to your life. The transformation will be substantial. If you're eager to elevate your life, consider liking, subscribing, and enabling notifications to stay engaged with us. Until our next encounter, seize the opportunity for growth and change.